Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the uh, end of day's trading session, the uh, Thursday, the 7th of, uh, or should we say Thursday, the 9th of March 2017. Okay, now in terms of uh, market numbers, let's uh, certainly bring them up for you. Before I do that, be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. Download the app like the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the uh, European numbers. You have the FTSE closing down 20 points. You have the DAX up 11, CAC up 21. So certainly a mixed picture there. FTSE certainly lagging today due to the uh, the, the weakness in oil, although uh, the French CAC should certainly be lagging as well, given the uh, the actual uh, uh, heavily weighted, uh, well, in terms of commodities being, being heavily weighted. Now, uh, the French CAC certainly being helped by Mr. Draghi's uh, post Draghi conference or post Draghi uh, question and answer session. Uh, from my understanding, I certainly interpreted it as being more hawkish, but the markets are interpreting it else, uh, uh, as something else. So again, that certainly needs to be uh, investigated as to why the markets are interpreted, uh, interpreting it as being bullish. Okay, now. Uh, the uh, other uh, economic data really uh, Chinese inflation out overnight certainly weaker than expected so uh, although uh, Asian markets certainly finished uh, negative or certainly gave a negative interpretation to Shanghai finishing down 20 odd points down 0.7 percent Hang Seng minus 1.2 percent the uh, Nikkei actually uh, uh, went against the trend and actually finished up 0.3 percent so again that certainly needs to be deciphered as well now we did see weakness early on in the fourth season led mainly due to the liquidation in oil and i think the chart of oil really needs to be uh, brought up here in order to uh, actually see the damage that's been inflicted okay so you can see here the daily chart of oil uh, the next real support zone is seen down at 47 uh, well, that's only the sort of reprieve area that i can see at present you do have gap fill as well you're looking at gap fill down in this zone so you're seeing gap fill around the uh, $46 level, okay, so quite a, an impressive liquidation thus far on the daily chart. You can't really see any support until we get to 47 currently around the $48 level, so again, keep an eye on that, uh, although we have slightly upticked at the moment, back to 49.4, so it be interesting to see how this uh, market unfolds, okay, in terms of the uh, price of oil. Uh, again, one would presume that you are going to see uh, pressure exerted on the downside, okay, now let's bring up the the rest of the fundamentals today. You have an ECP deposit rate, which really I think that was the main focus. U.S. data out in the U.K. in the uh, uh, in terms of U.S. Uh, you had jobless claims certainly weaker than expected uh, on both fronts and uh, continuous jobless and initial jobless. Export prices, import prices slightly ticking higher, and obviously the Q&A session. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, the inventory data for oil, certainly came in much a lot much larger build, and therefore obviously exerted further pressure on the on the downside on oil let's just bring up the chart of copper as well you can see copper here certainly being hurt due to the uh, uh, Yellen's uh, so-called hawkish stance in terms of raising rates this year again all that indicates a weakness in terms of uh, equity so certainly looking for a flush down in copper down to 2.45 potentially lower you clearly have a head and shoulders formation on, on copper which indicates a weakness for the FTSE 100, as you can see here, bear flag, H&S formation, pivot high being 2.84, uh, the neckline being around 2.6, so you're looking at 2.4 on the downside, certainly looking for further weakness in copper, and obviously oil as well, um, so again, you are seeing support next around the $47 level, so certainly look for further weakness there, okay? Understand, okay, now, Let's bring up the uh, the actual technical picture for indices. Let's just bring up the German DAX first and foremost. German DAX remains stubborn. Certainly is holding that level. I actually expected, given the uh, Draghi's hawkish stance, I actually expected the German DAX to uh, flush lower down to gap fill, and that certainly hasn't been the case. Uh, certainly clinging on to that 12,000 level. So certainly... Uh, uh, really confused as to what's happening there. Uh, the German DAX actually went higher and closed that gap at 12.025 before it started to reverse quite sharply. Okay, so certainly a topping tail there, arguing, like I said, for a move lower, uh, especially given the fact that we've closed that gap at 12.025 now. You're looking at potential support around the 11.920 zone, and really, from my perspective, it's all about that gap below. If I move to the 60 minute chart, you can certainly see here. Looking for that gap close uh, or gap fill below around the 11.830 zone. So watch out for gap fill below 11.830, okay, on the German DAX. Bringing up the French CAC again, this is another index that already did uh, 
perplexed me and surprised me quite substantially given the fact that we went to as low as 4830 and started to reverse. I was expecting the French gang to be sold off on the back of Le Pen concerns, obviously political uncertainty, so on and so forth, looking to flush lower down to Gapville. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire at all. So again, certainly confused as to what's happening there. 60-minute uh, chart on the French CAC. Again, you have gap fill around the uh, 4895. So again, looking for the market certainly to pause there and start to reverse looking for gap fill below, especially given the fact that the Fed, or should I say the uh, the ECB is certainly a very uh, uh, dovish, or not or dovish, sorry, it's turned hawkish now. Uh, everything Draghi said today was really indicating hawk, a hawkish stance, and a hawkish stance generally means equity markets are moving lower. So again, certainly perplexed and confused as to what the market is doing at present. The market certainly seems to want to go uh, higher. Now, again, you have support down this in the, in the 4840 zone, okay? Uh, the French cat currently in that 4885 zone, so keep an eye out for that, okay? In terms of the... Um, the actual FTSE 100 now, again, this is another one that baffled me today. Uh, the FTSE itself certainly flushed and then obviously reversed the whole flush, which was very impressive. I mean, we started off around the 7315 zone. We broke that, we moved lower, and you can see here, I mean, it's very strange. Daily chart on the FTSE 100 put, certainly put in a bottoming tail, so the bull certainly fought, fought back. Um, certainly fought back really well. I mean, you can see the uh, the actual bottoming tail that was put in this this. This thrust candle certainly held, so the bulls certainly came back in force. Now, 60-minute chart on the uh, FTSE itself certainly putting a topping tail. You are looking at previous resistance or previous support equals resistance, and therefore looking for resistance to hold at 7316. So certainly keep an eye out for that. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, 10-minute chart on the FTSE uh, again, like I said, very strange in terms of the thrust, but thrust certainly needs to be respected. You certainly have previous resistance equals support here. So looking at 7 to 90 and then obviously looking at 7 to 60. So looking for 7 to 90 at least minimum for the for the, for the actual FTSE. And then we'll see exactly how the market reacts from there on in. Okay, so watch out for that 7 to, uh, 7 to 90 zone. Okay, on the uh, the actual uh, FTSE 100. Okay, in terms of the uh, Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just bring up the chart here again. The daily chart still... Are holding on to that key resistance zone you can see previous resistance equals support if you break through here next support is so next resistance is 3520 let's see what exactly how the market reacts in this zone 60 minute chart certainly took out and made a new high okay again very very impressively you're looking at a topping tail here i did expect that double top to hold that certainly hasn't held we certainly did push higher above that and i was looking for a potential hns to be carved and go lower down to cap fill at 3320 especially with regards to Mr. Draghi's hawkish stance. 10 minute chart on the uh, Euro stocks, again, very impressive, uh, thrusting to new highs. Uh, I was expecting gap fill to hold here at 3403, that unfortunately didn't occur. I was looking at uh, resistance or gap fill to hold around the three, well, double top to hold at 3407. That certainly didn't occur either. So again, hats off to the bulls for thrusting the market that, that, uh, impressively. So again, looking for a uh, top to be made uh, on the euro stocks and then looking for a reversal given Draghi's hawkish stance. So just bear that in mind, folks, okay? In terms of Draghi's hawkish stance. Okay, so again, looking at a topping tail, looking for a double top to hold, and then looking for a flush lower on the uh, euro stocks down to gap fill below at 3320. So a hawkish draggy certainly does uh, trigger the uh, potential uh, bearish scenario in terms of the gap closing below. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now, folks.